Hey, what's up guys? This is Guillermo Auto. This video is on how to install new TPMS sensors and program them. This is on a uh, 2015 Toyota Tacoma and I'll be using the TechStream. So the story is I have this new Tacoma and they don't want these wheels on them. They want these wheels, but these wheels take a different type of TPMS sensor. So that's why I have new ones. Basically, the old wheels have this sensor. As you can see, the stem is crooked. And then uh, these ones right here, they have a straight stem. So I can't switch the, the old ones over to the new wheels. I had to get new ones. First, what you want to do is write down these numbers off the TPMS sensors. All of them have their own little identification number. Make sure you get them right. You can take a picture of them to make sure you have those numbers right. You're going to need them. Uh, this one has four. I'll show you how to put them in the wheels. Uh, these are my new wheels. So these wheels came with uh, regular valve stems in them. I got to get these out. So what I'm going to do is take my tire machine here and just kind of pop the, pop the bead right near the stem. I'm not going to take the tire completely off. And then what I'll do is I'll come down here and then pull the stem out. So I'm right here on the tire machine. I got this bead popped off and I'll go ahead and pull this regular stem out. Alright, so I got this out. I'm going to do this on all four tires. So uh, here's part numbers. This is the um, tire sensor little... Mounting kit comes with like a little uh, cap screw on and a washer. And so basically how these go on is the sensor goes in first and then the washer goes on the outside and the cap goes on the outside as well. I'll show you. Sensor goes in and then you drop your washer down on the uh, outside part and then you put the cap on the outside part and then screw it down or tighten it down with a little uh, 11 millimeter. These ones are 11 millimeters. Now it's got to be super tight. You can actually break the sensor if you go too tight. Just get them like, you know, snug and then like a little tight after snug. So I'm going to go ahead and do this on all four and then we'll get back to the video. You get all my tires pumped up with air and balanced and everything. All right, so I balanced them. I got them all full of air. I got all the sensors in. I got them on the car. So I wrote all my sensor identification numbers down. Now I'm going to go get the tech stream and hook it up. So I got my tech stream here. Got to plug it in the DLC right here by my left foot. And uh, first we're going to connect to the vehicle. All right, and let it load up. Okay, and they already kind of knows what kind of car it is, so we're just going to press OK, Next. Build in all the fields for us. All right, so then it pulls up all our systems, and we're gonna go to tire pressure system, tire pressure monitor system. You just click on that, double click it, and it'll go into that system. And then we're gonna come over here to utility, click on utility, double click that. And then we're gonna go to ID registration Gonna, we're gonna put all the uh, IDs that, that little number I was talking about that was on the sensor we're gonna put those into the into the computer into the ECM so then it, it knows to uh, talk to those and get information from those sensors so this is just entering the wizard press next press next so it'll just kind of give you like a little idea of what's gonna happen in the wizard so we'll press next and give us about five minutes to type in the IDs of all the sensors so what you do is you get your, uh, hopefully you wrote them down or you got them, uh, you know, took a picture of them or somehow, somehow keep the numbers and we're going to type them in the computer. Oh, so let's see here. So right where it says ID code, that's where you type in the number or the, the code. It could be like a number and a letter combination. Uh, don't worry about the caps if they're all caps. So when you type those in and then you press next, you'll see where it says registered tires, it says one. And then when you type in the next one, it'll say two, you know, three, four. So we'll go ahead and do this. And we only uh, are gonna do four because the spare doesn't have a sensor in it. It just has a regular stem in it. So we just gotta do the four on all the corners. So type them in and press next. Be sure not to let the time run out. All right, and then it says ID registration is complete. Go ahead and press exit. And then what I do, 
is I go to data list and I'll go make sure that the sensors are all working and I could see what the sensors are reporting. And while you're doing this, the TP mess light will be flashing, that's normal. That's just saying like, hey, you know, the, the system's being uh, talked to. All right, so here's the data list. And if you look right here, I highlighted the uh, pressures. So it's reading pressure for all of them. The tire light went out, so that means that's good. So it has, uh, it's seeing pressures. And then also up here is all the IDs I typed in. If you have a problem, you could you could double check your IDs, make sure you type them in right. Um, if you if you're not getting your IDs good or you're you're not seeing a, uh, a a pressure after a long time, like probably like 20 minutes, then you need to retype your IDs in. Make sure you got them right. If you look down here, this is where the spare would be, but this one doesn't have a sensor, so there's no uh, there's no data on that right there. And then here's where the uh, registration code would be. But this one doesn't have one, so that's all right. Um, but yeah, if your tire light's still flashing after you do all this, you know, like 10 or 15 minutes later, that means there's been a problem and you should just type them in again. Uh, I mean, sometimes they do take longer and it's nothing to panic about, but uh, if it's going for too long, then you, something probably happened just to re redo the steps again. Um, but yeah, that's it. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next video. Feel free to leave any extra information in the comments. Thanks for watching.